Hi everybody! Welcome back to Hermione Reads Comics. I'm Hermione and I read comics. So today, or tonight's video is going to be a review of Invincible um, Atom Eve. And she is by far my favorite, my favorite character in the Invincible universe. I absolutely love, absolutely love um, this character. She is spunky. She is trying to find a way in the world, just like everyone else, that she has a very unique backstory. So she is, so for people that have not watched the episode or the movie, uh, you, th this, ep this video is going to have spoilers, so you have been warned. <laughs> you have been warned. So I wanted to watch it again and kind of reconnect to that universe. The universe that is so different from what we are used to. And Image Comics has done a great thing. Amazon has a keeper when it comes to this show and and of course Image with the comics. So we find out that um, that Samantha is, as I said, the byproduct of the government. So when her mother was pregnant with her, uh, she agreed to allow the government to inject her with things to mani like manipulate her amniotic fluids, all this stuff. Um, and in return, she had a place to live and she had food and all this stuff. And when you are, and apparently in that world, when you are homeless, and you are pregnant, you're willing to do anything to ensure that your child will live and everything. So what ends up happening is when he realizes what is going to happen that, you know, her mother wanted her to live, not in a lab, wanted her to live among people. And so, she, so he faked the child's death so that the child would have a home and she ends up being raised by the Wilkinsons who have no idea that they have a government weapon in their home um so what uh Samantha wants to do at a very young age is she wants to do something she wants to help others and she wants to do something that is worthwhile and she ends up become when she comes into her abilities, um, she uh, becomes Atom Eve. And of course, the, her siblings get sent to try to destroy her. So, one of the things that I one of the things that I really like about the about the adopted mother is the adopted mother sees that her daughter has this potential. And she is willing to do anything to ensure that her daughter can reach that potential. But because Samantha is destined for greater things, um, she it, you know, she finds that her daughter is like unable to do that. Um, the father is typical typical father. He doesn't understand his daughter. He doesn't understand what makes her tick and who she is as a person. And it is uh, it is like father. All he knows how to do is yell. And the mother is like, I understand. But what but what's sad about it is when Samantha finds out exactly the link the government went to to have their weapon. It is disgusting. It is against anything that would be considered a mo considered moral. And it really showed the greed of this guy. This guy wants his weapon and he's willing to violate every possible hu uh, uh, law out there to get what he wants. Um, as I uh I enjoyed this this um, movie or this episode a lot. I thought that I thought that it was well done. The acting was stellar. The special effects were 
absolutely brilliant. And I just loved it. It was definitely different from anything that I watched. And I definitely, definitely want to watch the first season of Invincible and really immerse myself in that world and to, um, to and, and get ready for season, well, season two is going on now. But anyways, I give this episode slash movie five stars. It is great. And if you want something that is not regurgitated, reboot, and all this stuff, definitely check out Adam, Atom Eve. It is a great, great um, show, great episode, great movie, whatever, because it really shows. It really shows what happens when you allow your weapon to be raised differently. They sort of develop their own ideas, and of course, <laughs> they find out when the weapon has a conscience. So, if anyone has seen this particular episode slash movie, um, definitely appreciate to hear your thoughts on it. I will be doing reviews of Invincible four times a week, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow.